Uh, it wasn't really a name in the US at the time. Uh, I knew him from uh, some of his previous films and, and the Sherlock series, and uh, was a huge, huge fan. And uh, it was before Star Trek and, and uh, the 50 State and all that. Uh, so for me, it has been no other. And uh, so we have we had a Skype uh, together first, and that was actually it. And then we were then we were married. Uh, and it's 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 incredible. His he his dedication to this uh, was extreme, and he took on a very responsibility. He felt he had a responsibility of the legacy of Turing to portray him correctly. So he like he's like Turing was a uh, almost uh, Olympic level uh, marathon runner. So he, every morning he went out for a run, he, he, he did all these kind of things which, you know, more or less lived the life of, of, of Turing uh, and, and uh, did an ex extraordinary job. Uh, Bennett is one of those when you, you think you have a perfect take, and it's like, ah, oh, this, was, this was great, let's move on. He says, can I do one more? And then there's something completely different, you, and it just blows your mind away. So, it's, so, so it, it's been such a pleasure, and uh, he pushes me, I push him, so it, it, was, it was a great working relationship. Is, is he one of those actors who arrives on the set completely prepared and ready to go, or is he someone who likes to rehearse, likes to work, try this, try that? Uh, can you just go a little more in detail, like what a working day is like with him, and um, working out certain points, or maybe there's one interesting scene that you had, you maybe tried one way or another? Yeah. I, this is, I mean, I, I, was, I felt I was very lucky. I, I got sort of like an A-list British cast. And I think that, not to generalize, but it's something with British and American actors is that American actors love to improvise. They love to be free and, and uh, British, uh, American actors love to improvise and uh, freedom all that. Uh, British actors hate it. And uh, they, if you give them pages, if you give them a new scene and you change the dialogue in the morning and they, they yeah. So, so they, they, they work very differently. They like to be very prepared, like to rehearse, like really. So, so, so yeah, we, I mean, this was a, we had to shoot pretty fast. Uh, we had to cover a lot of ground really fast. So, so we rehearsed, we, we spent a lot of time discussing the characters and, and working with the dialogue. And, and uh, it was a very privilege for me as, as director to work with these actors who, who came in and were so sharp. And, but Benedict likes to, if it's, if there's, one thing is that if, if there's something he doesn't agree about or doesn't understand in the scene, you cannot say, let's just do it. We have a little time, the sun is gonna go down in two hours, let's just do it, that doesn't work. <laughs> he, he wants you to explain, why do I have to say that line? Why do I have to do that? And in many ways, that's what you should have. You should have an actor that pushes you as a director, you have to give them the answers they, they, they you should be able to give them. So, so, so I, I, I mean, I think it was a very rewarding experience for me. Some uh, films like this where they'll say there's a, one character who's apart from the others. Uh, sometimes they like to keep that actor away or not become friends with the actors. And, th and this, of course, he's at odds with so many of the other characters in the film. Was there any sense of that or was there a complete camaraderie uh, with the actors? I mean, he, him and Matthew, Matthew Good is, you know, our best friends. And, and him and Rory went to school together. So it's like, it's, that would be impossible. I mean, in the, and he's been in two months together with Kira before. so. So, so, but yeah, he, he stick to himself and he's, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's very much in character, uh, and, and, but he's, he's extremely focused. And uh, so it's, so it's uh, and, and one thing my editor said is, it's, is that a lot of times he didn't want to cut to people talking, that he'd much rather stay on Benedict's reactions because there was so much going on. Mm -hmm. he, he just, he's so alive all the time. Now, there's a, hell of a lot of material to cover in two hours in this film, and there are many more aspects to the story. Were there any other parts of the story that you knew about that uh, you would like to have uh, gone into more deeply, or other things in the whole story you would like to have also emphasized? I mean, Graham has, write, uh, has written a structure uh, where, where the, the, uh, the break-in, and used that sort of like as a framework and the mystery around them, uh, which I 